This video was produced in a studio environment with de-energized equipment. Follow the cable or component manufacturer's instructions and your standard operating procedures when using speed systems tools. This presentation demonstrates the steps necessary to prepare underground primary cable for termination using the speed systems 1542 2CL insulation stripper, 1700SS semicon scorer, and the LPW1525 TK120XN probe tool with neutral winder. The 1542 series strippers are designed for cables from 1 half inch to 1 and 3 quarter inches in diameter over the semicon shield. This roughly translates to 1000 MCM and smaller when stripping 5 kV cable, 750 MCM and smaller 15 kV cable, 350 MCM and smaller 25 kV cable, and 3 aught and smaller 35 kV cable. Refer to the Speed Systems Mark series tools for larger cables. Measure and mark the strip back length of the outer jacket. Follow the instructions provided by the component supplier to determine the proper strip back length. Use the 1700 SS to make a square cut in the outer jacket at the mark. Make sure the blade is in the square cut position. Open the jaws by turning the knob counterclockwise until the tool can be positioned on the cable. Set the blade depth so the blade does not touch any of the neutrals. Place the tool onto the cable at your mark and turn the knob clockwise until the springs take over and the knob turns freely. Make several revolutions with the scorer. Loosen the jaws and remove the tool from the cable. Use your pliers such as the Speed Systems SC13 to pull a neutral wire back approximately 1 to 1 and 1 half inch. Insert the neutral into the center hole of the neutral winder. Ratchet the tool down and around the cable until the tool reaches the square cut. This method protects the neutral wire and prevents breakage by maintaining an even pressure on the neutral as it is pulled through the outer jacket. Unwind and remove the neutral wire from the probe tool. Remove the outer jacket and pull the remaining neutrals out of the way of the installation. Measure and mark the semicon strip back according to the component manufacturer's instructions. Verify that the blade lever is in the square cut position and set the semicon score blade depth to cut through most of the semicon layer without cutting through to the insulation. Check the blade depth on a scrap piece of cable if one is available, or by visually checking the blade at the end of the cable. The blade depth should be set to approximately 3 to 5 thousandths inch less than the semicon thickness. Place the 1700 SS on the cable at the point you marked. Make sure the cable is as straight as possible. Rotate the tool counterclockwise around the cable to make the square cut. Without removing the tool from the cable, move the blade lever to the spiral position and rotate the tool until it reaches the end of the semicon. Open the jaws and remove the 1700 SS from the cable. Set the blade depth so the blade misses the conductor by approximately 1 16th of an inch. Rotate the tool backwards around the cable before cutting the insulation to ensure that the blade will not hit the conductor at any point. Adjust the blade depth if necessary and recheck. Set the blade cutting angle to the width of spiral you desire. Approximately one quarter inch is ideal. As a general rule, harder insulation materials require a smaller spiral than softer materials. The 1646X scale gauge accessory allows you to easily set the correct strip back length. Set the scale gauge to the length specified in the instructions. Spiral the tool down the cable until the conductor hits the scale gauge. The tool automatically squares off the cut when using the scale gauge accessory. When not using the scale gauge accessory, or when stripping larger conductor sizes, you need to move the blade lever to the square cut position to square off the cut. Open the jaws to remove the tool and insulation from the cable. Use a knife, such as the Speed Systems SC11 Edge Wedge, to lift the edge of the semicon so you can grab it with pliers 
such as the Speed Systems SC13 Semicon Roller Grip. Use the Semicon Roller Grip to roll the Semicon from the insulation until you reach the square cut. Use gentle pressure toward the square cut and keep the distance between the pliers and the cable to a minimum to prevent tearing of the Semicon. You may see a spiral pattern on the insulation. Rub your thumbnail along the insulation to ensure that it is just a shadow line left by the impression of the blade and not a cut into the insulation. This concludes the steps for preparing underground primary cable for termination using the 1542 2CL. Speed Systems, providing quality American-made tools since 1970.